Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, this is a quick video just to uh, mention that we are in an interesting moment with Microsoft. Uh, basically what's happening is that Skip Ahead Insiders received a build which you see here. This is 18.8.36 as you see on the bottom right. It's what is the next version of Windows but in 2020. So it's kind of interesting because Microsoft is showing us a little more of what's to come. And what is interesting is that one of the reasons they say they're actually issuing a more advanced or something that's a little more into the future is because it they need a little more time for some of the features that will be in this um, next year's version. So it's kind of interesting here to see that we're already kind of testing out something that's going to come out in a year from now but uh, kind of cool now you might be saying okay what's new well nothing yet because this is the kind of the setup if you want and uh, they are using this to tweak and make sure that the windows operating system will be ready for the new features so um, it's going to be interesting to see what they want to actually add in here especially if they say that they need more time Another reason and another thing that I'm wondering, I wonder if they're not doing this because they want to have more internal telemetry to make sure that the next version of Windows might be a good one without any glitches. So by doing a much longer test with skip aheads and then of course at some point there will be a, um, it will become of course a fast ring insider, regular insider thing s uh, later this year. Maybe they want to see more of the broad picture of everything that could be wrong or not. I don't know, but uh, it's an interesting future we're seeing here. Uh, as I was saying in one of the videos, um, and some people still don't believe it, but there's no Windows 11, and, uh, and don't and forget about it. You know, I mean, when people say, oh, well, you know, I'm waiting for Windows 11. Well, you're going to wait for a really, really, really long time, my friend, because there is no such thing. And... Um, we are, you know, of course, testing out these future versions of Windows 10 right now. And um, one of the aspects of this is, of course, uh, to see new uh, some of the new uh, features coming up. Of course, uh, for those that are not insiders, what does that mean? Well, for you guys, you know, we're still on schedule for the next version of Windows, which is April 2019 update or version 1903, I guess. Um, with that, that will come up for everybody sometime in March. Uh, what you see here, 18836 is something that will come out in April of next year, 2020. Incredible. And of course, there's the insiders in the fast ring that will eventually, and they're still testing out right now, what you guys will get in April. But at some point, we'll move on to uh, what will be this fall. Uh, a couple of you have been asking, does it mean that they're jumping over a version? They're not. 19H2 or the next version of Windows that will be in the fall is still scheduled. It's uh, going to be um, tested by insiders somewhere uh, just after the release for uh, the, of course, um, April update for everybody. This is going to be an interesting test also to see that um, how stable it is. This is, I guess, um, I would say this is the it's time to check out if you can still give out two updates a year and still be credible and still have good builds because I mean we had a 2018 that I think everybody wants to forget with Windows 10 we don't want to have that in 2019 and um, if 1903 if the April update were to be messed up I mean come on you gotta rethink the way Windows is updated you gotta rethink that maybe twice a year is not a good idea um, that that is going to be really super important, and and they got to work to make sure that all of that works well. As for the rest, well, we're still waiting. If you're uh, wondering if you um, why you don't have, I still have a lot of people saying I don't have the October 2018 update. I don't have 1809. It doesn't matter. It's you know what it, it's rolling out, and I don't think you know even though it's probably rolling out faster right now, I don't think there's that many people that still have it right now. We'll have numbers in about two, uh, a week and a half from now. Uh, we usually have some numbers about the Windows 10 market share around the 25th, 26th of the month. So 
Uh, you know, in about 10 days from now, we'll have an idea of how fast the rollout was in February. If you haven't seen it appear in Windows Update, don't rush it. It just means that it's not your turn yet. It could be a glitch. It could be something that they know is not working and they're actually fixing it and at some point it will appear. It could just be it's not your turn yet because they're not sending out this version of uh, October 2018 update to everybody uh, at the same time. They're rolling it out slowly because they are examining the telemetry, the data coming from the updates also. So don't worry about it. If you don't have it yet, it's not a problem. And you know, you'll have it when you have it. And there's some new features, some stuff. If you look at my insider reviews, you'll see some of the new features, but don't, you know, don't rush it. it it'll appear at some point. And like I said, <laughs> it's not impossible that um, some of you might never see it and it's just going to jump over to the uh, version April 2019, which is all, all right and quite fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.